the very first thing we want to do is look at the appearance of the wine. When it comes to appearance, there are only two points available for the wine, even though there's four things on your SAT card. We're going to hone in right where the points lie. You can create acronyms for yourself so that you remember what to cover in each of the sections. If we're talking about appearance, it's intensity of the color and then color itself where the two points lie. Um, so it could be ick for instance, as your acronym. Anyway, let's talk about the intensity of the wine. And what we're looking for is the saturation of color or the intensity of the pigmentation. So generally, we would angle the wine down at 45 degrees and look from the core, from the center of the wine to the rim to determine that saturation of that color. However, WSET London teaches something interesting. With a red wine, there's a different trick to use. Put your glass down, you know, either on your exam paper or on a white piece of paper, you know, if you're at home studying, and you're gonna look down into the wine. Um, is it impossible to see where the stem meets the bowl? I don't know, for any of you who have a glass of wine in front of you, if it's red, go ahead and look down in the glass. Can you see where the stem meets the bowl? Clearly, not just a glimmer. We want a clear look at the full circle. For my glass, I look down and it's just a black abyss. Um, so can't see anything, it's opaque, so it's a deep intensity. Now, if your wine is not deep, you need to decide between medium and pale. The way that WSAT taught me to, to teach is you take the glass then and you put it down on top of either your SAT card or your exam paper. Let the glass hover right above it. You're going to look through the core of the wine, not the rim. You're going to look through the core. Can you read every single word that's on either your SAT card or on your exam? If the answer is no, it's medium. If the answer is yes, then it's pale. So that's a nice cheat sheet way to look at your intensity of a red wine. Now let's go off to color. You've got different choices for a red wine. Purple. A lot of students that I have say, ah, oh, is it purple? Is it ruby? Or if it's obviously purple. Of course, call it purple. You might see a lot of bluish hue in the wine to call it purple. A lot of Argentinian Malbecs, um, Northern Rhone Syrahs can be purple, but also Zinfandel and some others may be purple. But a lot of wines are more going to be ruby. That's your youthful red is going to be called ruby here. 